Happy Star Wars Day and may the 4th be with you. I always feel like I'm listening when I say that. But welcome to my channel, Moxie DIY and Java. I'm Michelle. Today's video is all about Star Wars. If your family or you are as big of fans of Star Wars as my family is, then this day is super special to you. I've got my Star Wars shirt on and I am ready to celebrate. So grab your cup of coffee or your favorite beverage and join me. And may the force be with you. For this DIY, you will need a bowl of your choice and vinyl. To start, I'm going to cut the Mandalorian helmet out of uh, permanent vinyl. And here it is, all cut out and ready. This bowl I found at the Dollar Tree. I think technically it's a champagne bucket, but I like the uh, shape of it. I thought it looked kind of futuristic. So that's what we're gonna go with today. For some reason I didn't measure it properly, so I'm going to be adjusting it slightly so it will fit on the bowl a little better. If you don't have a cutting machine, you can still totally do this project. All you would need is a stencil of sorts, print it out on regular paper, and you can copy it onto vinyl, and then use a box cutter or X-Acto to cut out the shapes. So here the top of the helmet is a little too big, so I'm just going to make adjustments to it so it will fit. When you have little air bubbles like this, sometimes I like to use the edge of a sharp object just to pop that bubble and then press it out. There it is. For this recipe, you will need pretzel sticks, mixed nuts, plain M&M's, craisins, Teddy Grahams, semi-sweet and white chocolate chips, and churros cereal. Now, when it comes to snack mixes like this, I really don't measure per se. I just pour until I think it looks like there's enough. So I'm not gonna have the measurements listed out for all of these, but I will have the ingredients listed out in the description box. For this DIY, you will need scrap wood or cutting board, nails, tape, a template, embroidery, string of your choice, and a hammer. I found this template online and I will be sure to link it and anything else that I use today in the description box.
As the nails were closer together, I started using pliers to hold the nail in place as I hammered. Um, this is actually something that's really easy. Even a kiddo could do it with you. Um, I would definitely suggest using pliers if you're letting your kiddo doing the hammering, just so you don't end up with any bruised fingers. But you wanna make sure that all the nails are really secure because they will have tension on them from the string once we start adding them. I ended up only using one spool of this embroidery thread. And here I'm just making a slip knot to begin. So what I'm doing is I'm wrapping the embroidery thread around the tip of the nail. It just depended on where the nail was as to whether I was going clockwise or counterclockwise. I will leave that up to you. All of the tutorials I found on string art suggested starting out by doing the outline of your design first and then going in and doing all the zigzags and whatnot. And as you can see, I found some loose nails along the way, so I'm just hammering them in to make sure they are really secure. Now that I've made it all the way around, I'm going to loop around the first nail and then make a knot with both strings on the bottom. Now I've gotten it to where I like it, I'm going to tie a knot with the first string on the very bottom of that nail. I hope that's making sense. Sometimes it's easier to show you rather than tell you, but I'm making a knot there <laughs> and then I'm going to cut off the excess. And then one last hammer on any nails that have become loose. This next DIY is more of a hack versus a DIY. I found these gorgeous Starship blueprints on the Navage patch. It's a blog and this woman has got some serious talent. Um, she's got all sorts of beautiful free print printables, not just of Star Wars, but all things. And I will definitely link her blog below. They're really awesome. You really need to check them out. Yeah, these were free. All you have to do is sign up for her email list and you get access to all of her free printables and it is well worth it to sign up for her email list. These frames I'm using are from the Dollar Tree and all I'm doing is just using masking tape to attach the mats that come with the frames to the printouts. She had lots of different options, so I gave my son the choice of what he wanted for his room, and he chose the Imperial Starship and the X-Wing.
For this recipe, you will need snickerdoodle mix or your own recipe, cinnamon and sugar, black fondant, and black and white cookie icing. So Wookie cookies are pretty much all over Instagram. However, most of them are made out of gingerbread and my boys do like gingerbread but it's not something that they would call their favorite. They do love cinnamon sugar and snickerdoodle. So I made snickerdoodles into Wookie cookies and I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm just following the instructions that are on the package. These are just gingerbread cookie cutters. I'm using the second to biggest one. And now I'm gonna add some flour. Because we're gonna make these cutout cookies, it does need a little more flour because it's a really soft dough to begin with. I ended up adding four tablespoons in total. I like to roll my dough between parchment paper and my silicone mat. Somehow I lost some of my footage, but what you're gonna do is once you use the fork tines on the cookies, you're gonna sprinkle them with cinnamon sugar and put them on baking sheets. Now, I wish that I had put them in the freezer beforehand, but I forgot and they spread out quite a bit. Um, so do as I say, not as I do, and put them in the freezer for about 10 minutes and then it should prevent some of the spreading because some of these Wookiees are pretty thick, as my son calls them. So a little cookie hack here. If you have any cookies that are misshaped or broken off from others, just use a microplane to basically shave down the areas that are rough or need to be reshaped. Now we're going to make Chewy's bandolier, and to do that I'm using some pre-made black fondant. And all you're gonna do is roll it out like I'm showing you, and you're gonna cut it into thin rectangles. We're going to use this black cookie icing as glue for our bandolier. Now I'm going to use a scribe tool and a food safe brush to make the face as well as the explosives on the bandolier. So the eyes are just dots and the nose is an upside down triangle. And my boys are making sure I'm doing it right. Now we're going to cut off the tiniest bit of that corner. To make Chewy's mouth, we're going to make a thin line and then use the scribe tool to essentially make a Fu Manchu mustache. At least that's what it looks like. And then we're going to make small little swipes down with the scribe tool to make it look like teeth. So the Fu Manchu is going to wind up looking like his long canine teeth and then the small swipes will be the rest of his teeth. The explosives are just dots and I use the scribe tool to kind of clean them up just a little bit. And 
and as you can see, when you mess up, just wipe it off. It's just icing. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed watching how to do these DIYs and these recipes as much as I have in showing you. And if you did, please consider subscribing, liking, or sharing my videos. And until I see you in the next video, take care. May the force be with you.